First I go ahead and delete this first room because it's a little bit too small for our purposes. Now we can just hold the, the shift key and select a bunch of brushes and to delete them press backspace. Then I create a larger room, make it also a little bit larger in height and click the make room button to hollow it out. Now because we already used the stone texture we can go to the texture panel here and click on the stone texture here. Escape to deselect everything. Now for a door we can actually just make use of so-called prefabs. Right click on the 2D view and click on insert prefab. I'll go to doors and select the door you like. Now you see we also need to rotate it if you want to put it on this wall. So go to the modify menu, click on rotate and scale, then rotate along the z-axis. Now pay attention to this green line, what happens to this green line when, you ro when we rotate it. Because you will notice it will stay in its position. Um, this is important because this is actually the hinge of the door. So um, we need to change this position, otherwise the door will rotate in an awkward way. We need to go into the vertex editing mode by pressing the V key clicking on this vertex and moving it in the right position. This is actually, the grid size is a little bit too large, so we need to uh, press the, um, I, I press the key with the number three, makes it a little bit finer. It's actually still too large, so I press the key with the number two, and this should be okay. Now I go back to the larger grid size and press the V key again, to exit vertex editing mode. Now uh, I position this door correctly. Make sure it's looking fine in all dimensions. For some reason the border of the door are really not okay here. So ju let's just choose a really fine grid size. Go back and look if everything is okay. Now we can just copy this door and make another one over there, for example. For copying objects, you need to press space and just, and just drag it. And again, rotate it using the rotate and scale window. Press V to change the position of this vertex here. And then leave, ed leave the vertex editing mode and position the store correctly. If the grid size is still too large, you can go to the grid menu and choose a really small grid size. Hit escape to deselect everything. Now we need to make an opening in this brush so that you can actually walk through the door. And to do that easily, you can make use of the clipper tool so press the X key, which enters the clipper mode. And um, I will show you how it works and then you will understand it easily what it does. With the clipper tool, you select two points that create a line along which you want to cut your brush. So select two points with the left mouse button, then press shift and enter which cuts this brush into two. Now you need to do that also for, uh, for both sides of the door. And 
and also for the height of the door. Here you can go a little bit above the door because the door frame will hide potential holes there. Now to exclusively select this brush we want to delete, we can press the shift and the alt key and then left click multiple times until the brush we want to delete is selected. Then press backspace to delete it. Do the same thing for the other door. You can also select objects in the 3D view and to exclusively select again press the shift key, the alt key and the left mouse button. And then I use the same method to cut an opening into this brush. Again, select this brush you want to delete and click delete. Now let's create some kind of corridor that connects these two doors here. First, exit the clipper mode by pressing X again, then draw brushes. You can use the width of the door here and for the height, it will automatically take on the height of the brush we, we lastly selected. You will see it has the height of this brush we cut out. Escape to deselect, then you can build more brushes here. Now before we hollow these out, you can select all of them and apply a texture to it makes it a little bit easier rather than texturing all these wall brushes later on. So to select a new texture, we go to the media tab here and um, go to the texture folder, dark mod, and I would go with, with some wood texture here. Uh, you can choose whatever looks best to you. Again, right click, apply to selection and now let's hollow these out using the make room button. And then of course there are, will be walls where we don't want them. So we need to go through a bit of brush deleting and brush resizing here. First of all, this one, it's a little bit tiresome. Uh, maybe it seems complicated to you at first, but with practice it will get faster and easier. Now we can also make use of the clipper tool again to just clip the parts of the brushes we don't want anymore. Then Select this part and delete it. And now I will show you how you can make use of the 3D view to check if everything looks okay. To move around here, you have to right click into the 3D view, which enters the camera movement mode. And then you can use the arrow keys to move the position of the camera. And then make sure that you can actually move through all of the corridor here. And that looks about right, except we accidentally, or I accidentally deleted this brush over here. so. We need to put it back there again. I just copied this one here. Again, I, I have to exit the clipper mode first to 
be able to move it. Um, we'll rotate it. And check it out. Yeah, that should be okay for now. Here is one brush still. It needs to be deleted. Now we can, for example, add some more lights to this map. And I will go with some torches here. Right click into 2D view and create entity. Now we go to lights and go to model lights, static, torches, torch wall. Again, rotate it so it's in the position you need. If necessary, change the grid size and then make sure the height is okay. I will make one more here and one goes to this side. Save the map again and check it out in the dark mod. Okay, we see we added some torches to the walls. These are our doors. We can check if they behave correctly. And you can actually move this way, get out this way, and the AI should already be an enemy to us, so it will kill us if he notices us.